Question 2. A student sits at the top of a platform a distance of h above the ground. He throws a large firecracker at an angle of theta with respect to the horizontal with a speed v. However, a wind blowing parallel to the ground gives the firecracker a constant horizontal acceleration with magnitude a. As a result, the firecracker reaches the ground directly below the student. Part A, find the time of flight in terms of V, A and theta. Part B, apart from t equals to zero, at what time will the firecracker be a distance h above the ground? Express your answer in terms of V, theta and g. And part C, find the initial speed V in terms of A, G, theta and h. Okay, so uh, we have an initial x component of the velocity vx of t, which will be equal to uh, v cosine theta. But however, since we have a wind blowing and giving it an acceleration to the left, it's going to be v cosine theta minus a t. And the velocity y component as a function of uh, time t will be the initial velocity y component v sine theta minus g t. So we have an acceleration on the x-axis. So you can see that it is uh, a wind blowing parallel to the ground. So it's basically an ex giving an acceleration in uh, the minus uh, x direction. And we have uh, the velocity of the uh, y component decreasing in time uh, initially due to the gravitational acceleration g. Now, the displacement on the x-axis, delta x, as a function of time t, will be the integral from zero to time of flight, uh, the velocity x component, dt. So this will be uh, v, if I take this integral from zero to a time of flight, v cosine theta minus a t dt, this will give me v cosine theta times time of flight minus one half a time of flight square. And what is the displacement on the x-axis? It is zero because it ends up right below where it was fired. So this tf is my time of flight. Okay, so let me note here that I have defined tf to be the time of flight. All right, so uh, I find that tf times v cosine theta minus one over two a tf is equal to zero. Obviously, time of flight cannot be zero. So we take the answer, non-zero answer, which is 2v cosine theta divided by a. So this is our answer uh, to the first part of the problem. Now the second part is asking me at what time will the firecracker be a distance h above the ground? Okay, so I know that when I reach a displacement on the y-axis, delta y1, uh, which is h max minus h, so this is going to be uh, this displacement here, h max minus h, uh, the velocity y component uh, at this point in time, when I reach the maximum height, will be 0. So that means v sine theta minus g time to reach the maximum height will be 0. So the time to reach the maximum height will be equal to v sine theta 
divided by g, the gravitational acceleration. So you can see that if you plot a velocity y component as a function of time, starting from uh, v sine theta, we have a constant slope. The slope is equal to the gravitational acceleration. So if t is equal to 0, we are at a v sine theta. Um, when I reach t max, I'm basically at the uh, position uh, h above the ground. So this is, uh, I'm at the position h, uh, h max above the ground or h max minus h from my initial uh, position. And then I start moving in the negative y-axis. So you can see that uh, due to the similar triangles here, I will have the same displacement magnitude uh, in the same time interval. So at 2 t max, I will be at, uh, at level uh, h above the ground again. And then when I reach the time of flight, I will be all the way down to the ground. So uh, at t is equal to 2t max, which is 2v sine theta over g, uh, again, we will be at a height h above the ground. All right. Now, uh, part C is asking you to find the initial speed uh, V in terms of A, G, theta, and H. Uh, so the displacement delta Y2, which is from uh, time 2T max to time, uh, time of flight, Vy dt, this will be equal to y final minus y initial. So y final is 0, y initial is h, so I will be having a displacement minus h. So integral from 2t max to time of flight, uh, v sine theta minus gt dt, this will be v sine theta t minus 1 over 2 gt square uh, in the time interval 2t max to t. Okay, so I can write delta y2 is equal to uh, v sine theta times the time of flight. So it is v sine theta uh, 2v cosine theta over a uh, minus 1 over 2 g time of flight squared, 1 over 2 g 4 v squared cosine squared theta divided by a squared minus uh, evaluated at 2 t max v sine theta 2 t max v sine theta uh, 2 v sine theta divided by g and then we will have plus 1 over 2 g 2t max square 4v square sine square theta divided by g square. This is equal to minus h. So we obtain minus h is equal to um, <clears throat> so from the first term here uh, v square 2 sine theta cosine theta it's going to be v square sine 2 theta uh, and if I multiply the top and bottom with a 
a divided by a square then I have uh, minus 1 over 2g 4v square cosine square theta over a square so this is minus uh, 2v square cosine square theta g divided by a square then I have minus v square 2 sine 2 sine square theta so it's going to be minus 2 v square sine square theta over g then I have plus 2 v square sine square theta over g so these two terms will cancel and I can make this minus sine plus this plus sine minus this minus sine plus and I can isolate V here so V can be written as uh, H multiplied with a square divided by uh, 2 cosine square theta G minus a sine 2 theta square root so this is our answer to uh, the third part of the problem okay uh, so we have uh, on top of a platform a student uh, basically throwing a large firecracker with an angle with respect to horizontal theta and initial speed v and we want to know provided that there is a wind blowing parallel to the ground such that the firecracker ends up right below the student uh, what is the time of flight what will be the uh, time when uh, this uh, firecracker reaches the same level the second time apart from t is equal to zero and what is the initial speed v in terms of a g theta and h so uh, first i note the time dependence of the x component of the velocity it's v cosine theta initial uh, x component minus a t because there's a constant acceleration a to the left and v y of t is v sine theta minus g t it doesn't say it's to the left but for it to end up below the student it must be to the left i know that it is parallel to the ground so it must be to the left so the displacement delta x should be zero from time t equals zero to time of flight and that gives me the time of flight as 2 v cosine theta over a and uh, at the maximum height i have zero velocity so v sine theta minus g t max is zero so t max is v sine theta over g that's the time it takes for it uh, to reach the maximum height and when does it go back to the same level h again you can see that from the vy of t plot it it is symmetric uh, around t max so we will have the same area under the vy versus t plot uh, at time 2 t max so it's 2 v sine theta over g and if i look at the displacement between time 2 t max and tf it must be equal to minus h because i'm starting from h ending up at zero so using this uh, displacement i can solve uh, but for um, um, v using v sine theta t minus one half g t square evaluated between time of flight and uh, two t max uh, and set it equal to minus h so this gives our final answer